gonna be looking at the HTC Evo 4G. We're gonna look at how to unroot the HTC Evo on um, Froyo. First thing you wanna do is power down your phone. Oh, if you wanna see, uh, hold on, you can see this is stock about phone. Uh, well, I really ain't no way to tell, but software information. You can see Android 2.2. Okay, you're going to turn your phone off, power your phone down, okay, it's shutting down, <coughs> okay, then you're going to power your phone on by volume down and power button, so you can go to the uh, H boot screen, okay. Let it scan or do whatever it's going to do because if you push buttons, nothing's going to happen. So go down to an H boot USB and click power and plug your USB in like this. Okay, and then watch it and just wait until it says H boot USB plug. USB plug, okay, you can go on your computer to device manager, okay, so we're going to go to, uh, um, let's see, wait, go to class, go to device manager, okay, and you're going to go to Android phone and under on their and my some people say click Android phone or Android one and then right click and update driver mine it drops down and I click I update the ADB now it says Android bootloader mine's already done but I'll go ahead and try to do it again update software okay browse on my computer and you want to browse to wherever it's at on your computer and then push next it's my is that mine says the best driver software for your device is already installed okay because I already have it installed but this is what you'll do is you'll right click on the Android phone or underneath the Android phone and you'll try to install the the driver from wherever you got it I'll have the downloads and the details so Afterwards, anyway, it's going to look like this, Android bootloader interface, okay, after you updated the driver for the Android phone, okay, or your ADB, whichever one, all right, now that we have the drivers installed, and this is only for Windows, if you're using Macintosh, you don't need the drivers, but you need the drivers for, uh, the HBoot drivers for Windows, okay, you can click out of this, and you can run the reflash package, the Unrevoke 3. Okay, run. And actually, I probably should have restarted my phone, so I'm going to wait and see what happens. Okay, yeah, see, it's, okay, I'm going to restart the phone first, okay, so, I'm going to, I'm going to reboot the phone, and then, once it reboots, then I will, um, run, unrevoke, I didn't, I didn't restart it, right here it says waiting for device, plug phone in now and use, uh, and enable USB debugging. Make sure H sure HTC HTC Sync is not installed. So. so I had to repower my phone because it wasn't reading my phone in the um in recovery mode. I mean in uh, fast boot. So okay.
okay. Charge only. So we'll let that do that. Okay, so you need to make sure before you do this, which I already have, your HTC Sync is uninstalled. So if you, before you begin to do unrevoke, uninstall HTC Sync, and you can reinstall after you're done. Okay, so the phone started. You're going to go to settings, um, applications, and uh, development, and click US debugging, push OK push home. Okay, now it says unrevoke is about to start and you know it gives you your risks and warnings. Press OK. And then you can see pushing, recovering, rebooting. So it's going to show you that it's rebooting. So now we're here. Okay, it says when bootloader starts, press volume down to H boot USB, then press power. Make sure driver is installed. So you can go down to H boot, okay, down at the bottom, press power, okay. Now we're going to wait a second, it's going to do its thing. You can see. It was a triumph and it's rebooting. Just let it do its thing, don't touch it. Okay, when bootloader starts, press volume down to H boot and then press power. Again, is what it says on the screen. So I'm going to go there. Okay, press power to H boot. To recovery, so it's rebooting now. It's really simple to do this. You just need to follow the directions. That's it. I mean, it's like the simplest thing. This is the second time I've done it in a day. Okay, now we're in recovery. You don't do nothing. It's gonna do everything for you. See? And up here it says it's. actually done but I'm going to show you the um, Sue. If you look in your apps and you have the super user uh, app then you're rooted. 
I mean, you can test it by downloading a Wi-Fi tether or some other app that does it, but you're done. Okay, you're done here, so you can just click off there. And come over here and let this load and do whatever it's got to do. You know how it takes a little bit to unlock it. Okay, charge on it. Alright, we're going to go settings. Oh, excuse me. Go to down here and click on this. Uh, I don't know, it's not saying nothing. That's your super user icon right there. I guess it's not saying it because I haven't given anything any permission yet. But that's your super user icon right there. This doesn't change your phone at all except for rooting it. So you won't lose any apps, you won't lose anything. But as recommended, you should always do a, a backup. So that's it. Pretty simple, man. All the, 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 the download links will be in the details. If you got any questions, hit me up. All right, I'm out.